So, uh, what if we get cryptic part two? What's good, YouTube? Trey here from the Imaginary Friends, back again, bald head again. And today we're doing part two of our cryptic trading card unboxings. This is a pack from the, it's called the Cryptid Trumps. It's actually from the Gazoo Company. I got this in the mail. I ordered it at the same time as those other cards. These have a bit more of an 80s comic book of art to it. So let's dive right in. All right, so this is everything that came in the package that I got. You see, we got the cards right here, but it also came with some other stuff that I wanted to show off right quick. First off, I um, thought this was a really awesome artwork uh, with an autograph from the artist Casey Raymond. Uh, that's so sweet. Look at that. It's sick. Uh, and we also got this really awesome Mothman sticker. I really like that. Mothman's probably one of my favorite cryptids, or at least one of my favorite well known cryptids. So I thought that was neat. And then the Gazoo Shop. These came all the way from the UK. I thought that was really cool and worth showing off. But yeah. So we got the cards right here. Like I said, kind of an 80s comic style vibe. Um, that's just funny, Bigfoot's butt. So let's open these bad boys up. Ooh, not like butter this time. Come on, somebody melt the butter. I don't want to rip, rip the box. Joel, please don't show me having this hard of a time to open this box. Please, I beg of you. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can just. So let's open this bad boy up. Oh, like butter. All right. So here we go. We have the cryptid trumps. So in the style of classic 70s point battling card. Oh, so these actually have points. So this is an actual game. I did not realize this. It's time to put on your cryptozoologist hat and meet some of the world's most elusive and fantastical creatures. Each of the 30 cards feature original artwork depicting a different cryptid. The legendary Sasquatch, the Loch Ness Monster, the terrifying Mothman, Chupacabra, the bizarre Snallygaster, and Hodog, the shy Squonk, and Loveland Frogman, and many more. Battle it out with the categories of sightings, danger, size, make a good pet, and fame. And learn fascinating facts about each of these barely credible beasts. Wow, this is so cool. So this is an actual, I did not realize this when I was ordering it. I probably look stupid because it says cryptid trumps, but whatever. So let's do this. Let's just, let's just, let's just go through some. All right, so we have the Agamuxa uh, sightings. It's got a 22, danger it's a 79, size it's a 48, make a good pet it's a four, and the fame it's a 38. That thing is, oof, that is nasty looking. Um, location, Africa, type, it's a man-eating giant. The Agamuxa, or Agamuxa, are African man-eating creatures with razor-sharp teeth. They closely resemble giant humans with the exception that instead of their eyes being on their head, they are on their on the soles of their feet. Although dangerous, they are not hard to outrun, and unless doing an occasional headstand, they can't see what they are chasing. Okay. Let's just go through these. Um, the Bunyip, uh, I think I've heard of that one. From Australia to Swamp Monster. The Chupacabra, ooh, that's nasty. The Dolby Spook. The Encantado, wow. The Fresno Night Crawlers. The Grampus, I've heard of the Grampus before. The Groot Slang. What is this from? Uh, Richtersveld, Africa. South Africa. It's an elephant snake. Hmm. The Hodag from Wisconsin. Ooh, I love that artwork. The Jersey Devil from New Jersey. It's a winging hybrid beast. Oh, look, it's a 14. I'll make a good pet. The Kabagon. Ah, uh, the Kraken from S uh, Scandinavia, the giant squid. Of course, it's well known, it's fame, it's up there. The Liak, all Indonesia, it's a flying decapitated head, wow. Loch Ness, fame is up there for sure. The Loveland Frogman, okay, these guys, they're not that famous, but they have such an interesting story. I listened to it on a podcast called Cryptonaut Podcast, and it's their, actually their first ever episode. It's from Ohio, bipedal frogs. Mothman, from Point Pleasant, West Virginia. A winged hairy humanoid. The Olagoy Korokoi, Korokoi. The Papa Bawa. It's a one-eyed humanoid bat. 
the rubber do. <laughs> Sasquatch with your pimply butt. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness gracious. That's nasty. Uh, North American. <laughs> oh, Sea Monk from Scandinavia. Huh. The Shug Monkey from Cambridgeshire, England. It's a monkey dog beast. Snallygaster. Okay, we're reading this one. From Maryland, USA. Wow, it's a flying hybrid beast. Um, residing in the hills of Maryland, USA, the Snallygaster would terrorize German settlers in the 18th century, a bizarre hybrid of creatures. It would swoop silently from the sky and carry off its victims, draining them of blood before dropping them. In 1909, after newspaper after newspaper reports of the creature's attacks, the incumbent president Theodore Roosevelt considering post considered postponing an African safari to hunt the beast himself. What? Are you kidding me? Teddy Roosevelt was gonna hunt this thing himself? Yo, dog! Wow. Okay, this by far probably has the coolest story. Just looking at this thing makes me want to vomit. The squonk from Pennsylvania, USA. A sorrowful wood beast. This looks like someone vomited a pig. Look at its toenails. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not reading that. The Tatzel Worm from the Alps Mountains of Europe. The Tianuk. The Tunnel Monster of Cabbage Town, a tunnel-dwelling monkey in Toronto, Canada. That's pretty dope. The Wendigo, Wendigo. The Wolpertinger from Bavaria, Germany. Depending on your outlook, the Wolpertinger could be considered cute or creepy. Said to inhabit the alpine forests of Bavaria. They are a hodgepodge of small animals born from unholy love between species. <laughs> <laughs> Fake versions cobbled together by taxidermists are displayed in local inns or sold as souvenirs to tourists. Bro, uh, oh my gosh, I want one of these things. That is one of the funniest things I've ever read. Unholy love between species. Uh, the Yowie, never heard of this one from Australia. Okay, and then it has a how to play card. Cryptid Trumps. All right, well, <laughs> there you have it. Um, Cryptid Trumps. This is really cool. Again, had no idea it was an actual card game. Thought I was just trading cards or whatever, but um, I think they're amazing. Uh, again, you can get this off of Etsy. I'll put a link to the shop in the description below. If nothing else, just get it for the artwork. Check it out if you're interested. So until next time, guys, um, if you're in Canada and you're in a tunnel and you hear a noise, it may be a cabbage monster. And until next time, keep the imagination alive. It's ridiculous.